Hi, I'm Keith and I'm going to show you how to set up, drain and refill the gear oil in the final drives on a John Deere 17G. Buy gear oil or even a final drive on FortisHD.com. To service your final drive, you'll need 0.25 liters of 75W90 or equivalent 80W90 gear oil. For a list of oil equivalents, visit FortisHD.com. First thing we need to do is we need to make sure the final drive is set up properly to be able to drain it and refill it. Right now it's not. We want this plug that's closest to the outside edge right at the bottom because that's how we're going to drain it. When you're going to do both like this, you're going to fire the machine up and one side or the other, it doesn't matter which side, you can just track the machine forwards or backwards to set it up. In this case, I've already got this side set up properly. Now we need to do this side without that side moving. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the machine. I'm going to swing it over and I'm going to lift this track in the air. Now that the track is in the air, you can either get somebody to look for you or you can jump out of the machine, put the safety lever down and you can grab onto the lever and you can have a look yourself and adjust it. Make sure the safety lever is back up when you jump into the machine. Now we can see the drain plug is in the bottom, the check and fill plug is in the middle. Now we need to get these plugs out. There's an Allen key here, it's a six millimeter Allen key that you're going to use to pull it out. There's multiple ways we can pull it out. These plugs have an O-ring on them, so they tend to go in and bite hard and it's sometimes pretty tough to get them loose. So you can use a six millimeter Allen key, most people have. Now quite often they're pretty difficult to loosen, let's try. This one's pretty tough, you can use a wrench as a snipe, make it a little bit longer. Now this one did pop loose. Sometimes as these machines get older, these Allen key plugs, they start to round out a little bit. The Allen key doesn't sit in there nice and it just wants to twist. In this case it's loose, but I'm still going to show you a couple other ways to do it. We also have an Allen key socket that we can put in there, use a hammer, sometimes there's some dirt in there, make sure it's really well in there. Now again, you can use this. It was already cracked, so it's pretty easy. That's the next best way to do it. If you don't have that, you can use a chisel and a hammer. I'm going to show you how to do this. What you do is you put it on the outside edge, give yourself a little mark straight in. Now that we have a mark, we can go on a little bit of an angle and a downward angle. You give it a couple of hard hits and you can see now it's turned a quarter inch. Once it's cracked loose, you can go back to your Allen key and you can unthread it. If you have a socket, Allen key socket, and it's still a little bit rounded and the ratchet just isn't working, it's too tight, it wants to strip, I have what we call an impact driver. You can put it on the end and you put it in the hole. Now what this does is when I hit it with a hammer, it'll give it a hard turn one direction. So this is loosened. If I turn this like that, that will tighten it. So I want to make sure it's going to loosen it. And you give it on the end a good hard smack. And now it's loose. So this bottom one here, we haven't loosened it off yet. I'm going to make sure my Allen key socket is in there. Put my impact driver on it and it's loose. So those are different ways that you can try and get these plugs loose and different ways that if the Allen key hole is stripped that you can use a chisel to be able to remove the plugs and still change your oil. Next thing we do is we make sure we get a drain pan under here. These small ones are sometimes tough. Pull the upper plug out first. And the reason I do that is it'll tell me if the oil is low, if it's over full. Right now you can see the oil is dribbling out a little bit and we know that the oil is the proper level. That means we don't have any leaks, it's not milky, we know water is not getting in there, it's just dirty, time for a change. Now we can pull the bottom plug out and we can let it drain. Quite often this oil will be very smelly. Right now this one is very smelly. It's not a bad thing, it's doing its job. It's just regular gear oil and as gear oil gets worn out and burnt it gets very smelly. While it's draining, you're going to be able to see if there's any metallic metal in there, pieces of metal, anything abnormal that you should be looking out for. This oil looks normal. It's worn, needs to be changed. It takes a while to change this because there's quite a few gears in there. The oil takes a while to drain out. It's cold, it's really thick. So quite often I'll use two drain pans. I'll get one draining, I'll move over to the other side and get it draining at the same time so that we're not waiting so much time for both of them. We highly recommend you sample your final drive of oil. On a video on how to do that and how to read the results, check the link below. Now that the gear oil has all been drained out, we'll give it a little bit of a wipe. We're going to put 
the lower plug back in. They're both exactly the same plug, so it doesn't matter if you mix them up one way or another, they're both the same. And we're gonna tighten up the lower one as well. I like to use either an Allen key or the actual ratchet with a socket on it. If you use the chisel or if you use the impact driver, you don't actually know how tight you're making it. And then next time you go to change it, it may be way too tight or it may be too loose and it falls out while you're operating it. Keep in mind when you're tightening this up, if you're the next one that's gonna change it, don't make it too tight or you're gonna battle it again trying to get it out the next time. Now the bottom drain plug is in, we fill through this plug. There's multiple ways that you can do this. You can fill through this plug right now and you fill it up until oil comes out of here. You can start the machine and you can turn the final drive until the plug is, I don't like doing it right at the top because if you fill it there, it just comes out this hole. But if you put it a little bit above 90 degrees, you can fill the oil up and then it won't come out prematurely before it's actually full because there's gears inside of here and you want the oil to level out between all the gears and everything and not get a false reading with oil coming out of here before it's actually full. And as you can see, I'm just over 90 degrees. Makes it easy to fill and not give us a false reading. Now when we fill through this hole, when oil comes out of here, that's the level that we need it to be at. We're gonna use a one liter or a one quart jug this time. Normally I use a hand pump. If you have a hand pump, more than welcome to use that, but most of you guys are probably just buy them in one quart or one liter containers. Now I use a rag when I do this. I put the end in and I usually like to put a rag around it. And that, what that's gonna do is if any leaks out, it's gonna stop it from making a bit of a mess. Starts to drip out a little bit, but it will sometimes go down a little bit as it meshes in with the gears. You wanna make sure that you keep filling it up and the oil on the inside there you see stays that height and doesn't keep dropping down. I know that I can see the oil there, so it's right there. I'll put this plug back in and just give it just a little bit more so that when you go to change it the next time or check it, it'll be a little bit higher than the bottom of this plug and it'll come out and you know that you're the right level. I'll show you for example. So you can see it's slowly coming out. So we know that we're bang on the right level and you can put both plugs back in and tighten them up. And that's how you change the final dry of oil on a John Deere 17G. If you don't have time to do the service yourself, or you want to get on a preventative maintenance program, reach out to techmohd.com and they can set you up with a heavy duty mechanic in your area.